اب حسیب تا نا صاحب القاف و رقیم کانو میں نایات نا عجبہ ناؤ دس سورا ہیز ٹو اسٹوریز ون آف دی پیپل آف کہو دی پیپل آف کیو دیٹ از ان دی بگننگ ادر از دی اسٹوری آف ذو القرنین دیٹ از نیئر دی اینڈ ناؤ ایکچولی دس ور دی کوشچن آسڈ بائی دی قریش آف مکہ فرام محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم on the instigation of the Jews. Well, Jews sent them the message that we have come to know that a person amongst you, Muhammad, named Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa he is claiming to be a messenger of Allah, to be a prophet. Well, you ask him three questions. If you can answer them, then maybe he is a messenger. Who were the people of the cave? What was the story of the people of the cave? Who was Ulkarnayn? What is the story? And what is spirit? What is ruh? Now the answer to the third question is given in Surah Al-Bani Israel. Ya saluna kaani ruh, kuli ruh min amri rabbi, wa ma uti tu min alil me illa qalila. They are asking you about ruh. Tell them, ruh is from the command of my Lord. And you have not been given from the knowledge, but a very little. So you can't understand. The reality of ruh you can't understand. It's the, it's the command of Allah. But these two questions are answered here. First of all, this is Ashab al-Kahf. And from this is the name of this surah, Surah al-Kahf. Am hasibta anna ashab al-Kahf wa raqeem kanu min ayatina ajaba? Do you think that the people of the cave and the inscription were among our very, very big signs? You may think that there is a very big sign. For us, it is nothing. Some people remained alive but sleeping for 300 years. What happened? For a light is nothing. But you think it's a very big sign. Now, the, what is the story? In the second century of Christian era, Roman Empire was pagan, worshipping idols, their mythology, gods and goddesses. And when Christianity was spreading in the Roman Empire, Those who accepted the message of Jesus, they were persecuted badly. So in the days of Decius, which we call in Urdu Dakiyadus, Decius was the emperor of Rome in the second century. In his time, some youth, they accepted Christianity. And Christianity was the deer at that time. Masih was the messenger of Allah. And Muhammad has not had not as yet come, sallallahu alayhi wa So it was the true deen of Allah. So they became, so to say, Muslims and Muwahids. But now they were brought to the king. And the king said, I give you seven days. Either you come back to your, the religion of your forefathers, or then you will be stoned to death. Now, these people, when they went back, they thought, what can we do? So they consulted each other. Let us go to some cave and stay there and see what Allah does. Left the city, get there. And this happened in a city, Ephesus. Ephesus, yeah, Ephesus. And this was in the present day Turkey. That was Roman Empire. And it was in this country, this city, Ephesus. When they went in that cave, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala made them sleep. And they kept sleeping for 300 years. Now, what happened during these 300 years? Constantine, the emperor of Rome, he accepted Christianity in the year 300 AD, in the beginning of the 4th century. Now, the whole empire... Christian, the Roman Empire is Christian. Now, when they got up in the 5th century, it was the day of the Emperor Theodosius. Now, they got up and they thought, how much have we lived here? For how long had we stayed in this cave? Some said, maybe one day or a part of a day. The other said, oh, let's leave it. We are hungry. Give this silver piece, coin, to someone. He should go and find some good food, clean, halal, so that we can take the food. 
when one that that person came in the in the city and he presented his coin well there was you know a, people said where did you get this coin it is 300 old years coin how did you get it maybe you have some treasure you have found a treasure so there was in this way people came to know that this was the story they are the people because about them you know when they had disappeared their account was written on a tablet and put in the treasure by the by the emperor so that is why they are called ashabul kahf and of raqeen ashabul kahf or raqeen the inscription so that was taken out from the treasure and they found they are the people and they have been sleeping here in this cave for 300 long years but then they went there back into the cave and then they died and then the people now because they were christians now so they they decided that they will make a place of worship on that cave so this is the story and this story is found in gibbon's book decline and fall of the roman empire story of seven sleepers this gibbon has written now i read the text of the quran ام حسبت ان اصحاب الكهف والرقيم كانوا من اياتنا عجبا do you think that this matter which happened with the people of cave and inscription it is one of our very, our, our very great signs is awal fityatu ila al kahf when those youth came to the cave qalu and they said rabbana atina min ladunka rahma o our lord give us from your own stores mercy وَهَيَّ لَنَا مِنْ أَمْدُنَا رَشَدًا and provide us for us rectitude in our affair salvation فَضَرَبْنَا عَلَىٰ عَزَانِهِمْ فِي الْكَافِ سَنِينَ عَدَدًا so we sealed up on their ears for some for some years that is they went to sleep they went to sleep ثُمَّ بَعْسْنَا then we raised them up لِنَعْلَمَ so that we know أَيُّ الْهِزْبَانِ أَحْسَى لِمَا لَبِسُوا أَمَدًا which of the two parties has kept correct you know understanding of how long they had been there نَحْنُ نَقُصُّ عَلَيْكَ دَبَاهُمْ بِالْحَقِّ now in these three ayat the whole crux of the matter has been given but the detail is now coming نَحْنُ نَقُصُّ عَلَيْكَ دَبَاهُمْ بِالْحَقِّ O Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم we are going to narrate on you their story with truth in nahum fitiyatun they were a few youths amanu bi rabbihim who believed in their lord in tawhid wazidnahum huda and we increased them in guidance we gave them more guidance more guidance more yaqeen more taqwa wa rabatna ala qulubihim and we strengthened their hearts when they stood it means the student the court of the emperor faqalu rabbuna rabbu samawati wal ard and they said and proclaimed over there our lord is the lord of the heavens and the earth lan nadwa min dunihi ilahan we are not going to pray to any other god except him laqad qulna idhan shatada if we say that it will be very exceedingly wrong thing ha ulai qaumun attakhadhu min dunihi alaha these people this nation they have taken with allah subhanahu wa taala other gods also alongside the big god written by capital g god with capital g god is omnipotent omnipresent omniscient but with small letter g gods and goddesses thousands of them so they have adopted gods besides god how lay qaumun attakhadhu min dunihi alaha law la yatuna alayhim bi sultani bayyin why don't they produce a clear proof thereof faman azlama mimman iftara ala allah kaziba who is more wrong doing than the person who is forging lies against allah subhanahu wa taala wa iza tazaltumuhum and now then they were given you know only 7 days make a decision either you leave this deen of tawhid come back to the mythology roman mythology or you will be stoned to death now they consulted each other wa yahtadaltumuhum wa ma ya'budun illa allah now that you have left them and whom they are worshiping except allah fa'u ila al-kahf now let us go to some cave 
یمشور لکم رب کم رحمت ہی یور لارڈ ول اسپریڈ فار یو دی بیڈنگ آف از مرسی و یو ہی لکم نمر کم ارفقا اینڈ ہی ول پروڈیوس فار یو ان یور میٹرس ایز 